Welcome to Ask the Edmonds Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple, and the topic today is iCart, which uh, involves the child abduction team, and you're going to tell me more about that because <laughs> yeah. this is some, a term I had not heard before, so yep. tell me more about it. So um, it's law enforcement. Everything gets turned into an acronym. Of course We've it talked does. about this before, so mm -hmm. iCart stands for Interagency Child Abduction Response Team. Of course. So th this is a pretty serious topic. Um, it, this is a very important team that's been put together because um, this is every parent's worst possible nightmare, um, some sort of child abduction or kidnapping, um, anything along those lines. So this team is made up of local, state, um, and federal law enforcement officers um, in the area. Uh, the commander of the team is actually an Everett uh, PD, I think, commander, deputy chief. They're pretty high up. Um, we have two detectives on the team here in Edmonds. Okay? Um, the purpose of the team is to quickly locate and recover abducted missing children um, who disappeared under suspicious circumstances. So we're not just necessarily talking about um, my teenager ran away, yeah. it, the team doesn't get activated for that. These are um, situations where it, you may have a, a child abducted um, from a public location, um, it could be a kidnapping by a known family member, something along those lines. Um, that's kind of what the team is dedicated for. Um, and. The reality is time is so, so critical with these investigations. Um, it, we, we found, you know, minutes count. Yeah. So having this team all ready to go um, at a moment's notice so that they can activate and start, you know, critical processes, getting those amber alerts in, getting um, information out, um, other resources, starting, you know, there's a lot of steps to it. Um, it's a really involved team. They have people assigned to certain location um, disciplines. We can kind of talk about that. Um, they have detectives that are assigned to do nothing but gather and sort tips mm. that come in from the public um, and then assign those out. They have people that do computer analysis, phone analysis, um, that can get video from different locations and start processing that sort of stuff to see if they can find the car that they're looking for, an image of the child or the suspect, whatever it may be. Um, it's, they have direct contact with search and rescue to start putting boots on the ground to do grid searches for, for children and if we think we have a certain area to look. Um, victim services to work with the family because I, I mean, you can imagine how traumatic it is, you know, if your six-year-old gets abducted from a public location. I mean, that's a horrific thing. Um, and trying to get information from them and, and that sort of stuff. Um, and they have uh, public information officers to manage, you know, the message and, and that sort of stuff. So um, real important team, um, you know, hopefully if and when, because these things do happen, we have, have these sorts of incidents. Um, we have a whole team ready to go to get the ball rolling and hopefully get these kids back safely. And this is based in Snohomish County itself, yep. this particular yep. team. And I'm assuming other counties probably have similar teams? Yeah, I think so. You and, know. and you guys must, I mean, I know when I hear of Amber Alerts, of course, obviously, mm -hmm. if somebody's in a car, they often will be going you know, across the state or out of the country, or I'm mm -hmm. sure you, you're in contact with all those, you know, other jurisdictions. Oh, yeah. To yeah, and that's the nice thing. That. It's I mean, it's it's local, cities, county. Yeah. Um, we have state partners right. with state patrol yep. and, uh, you know, other, other, um, other entities within the state. And then we have federal law enforcement, too. Right. So if we're talking about investigations possibly crossing state lines, that sort yeah. of stuff, you know, it, it really gives us a lot of resources um, to tie into. Um, databases we may not have had, you know, ability to get other evidence and just get the word out and, and start start looking at these things quick. Well, good. That's yeah. something I had never heard of before. So thanks yeah. for sharing that. Yeah, no problem. Okay. We'll be back soon with another episode of Ask the Evans Cop.